to get back into condition. But once you're in there and the audience is going, they drive you. So you'll drive your body to its limits. You may come off looking like a sack of... But you, know, you do try. What about headbanging, which uh, a lot of teenagers do? A couple of kids have been killed. Does that worry you? I don't advise them to bang their heads. Just watch. We're paying a lot, doing a lot of trying. You know, we're up there doing it. It's not good banging your head and we're missing it, is it? Now, Prince Charles has come into the concert. What sort of reaction do you expect from him? <coughs> Oh, uh, I think he's going to have a shock. <laughs> be, I mean, if it's the first rock concert he's been to, which uh, we're told it mm. is the first, so uh, I think he's going to find it pretty loud and... Uh, Less yeah. pretty, more loud. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the gig he wants to see, so he that's what he's doing. Elgar. Yeah. Hey, uh, who? Elgar. He smokes what? <laughs> Mark Elgar and Buckingham Palace tell me that he's keeping oh, an yeah. open mind about yeah, the concert. He's married now, isn't he? And she likes. <laughs> What's your response to critics who say you've essentially been putting out the same record for most of that 20 years? Long song, yeah. I can understand the criticism because it's, it's, it's simple and it's a straightforward format. But it's not simple to come up with one again that's going to sell or one that people are going to like or that we, each individual likes. It's not that easy within that framework. Plus, one of the greatest, I think, and most commercial, most popular tracks through from classical to whatever have all been basic, basic um, three chord or five chord sequences. <laughs> Francis, how's it going? All right, thank you. Very well, thank you. Be all in order for tonight, will it? I hope so. This is the idea of the sound check, so we just check things over and see. More sound check from the keyboard player. I mean, you've got here an enormous great hall, and you've got a few speakers to fill it. Are you happy about the sound, sort of sound you get in a place this big? Yeah, this, this hall was purpose-built. We did play the other one a few years ago, and we played this one last year. This hall has been built. It's well-built for rock and roll. The sound is excellent. So there should be no problems tonight. When you reckon to be the loudest band in the world? No, people have said that about us. Um, and uh, that seems to be a, a trend, that people want to be the loudest band in the world. For what reason, I don't know. We're loud, yeah. We're by no means the loudest. We don't go for that. We go to play. I mean, some nights it's louder than others anyway, depending on the gig. But we don't but, go to play. So tonight, tonight, Prince Charles will be able to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he will, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. I mean, congratulations on your on your 20 years. Thanks. Where and how did it all start? Well, it started at school with Alan and myself. In, uh, we met on a rugby pitch, the story goes, which we did. We got paired off in rugby, which I couldn't stand, and he pulled me down. And we started talking, and he was taking music lessons, then tr trumpet lessons, trombone lessons. He's tough. He's tough as well. He's tough, is he? Right? So uh, I took trumpet lessons, and we got out of a lot of other lessons. And uh, it went from there. We just started to buy guitars and try out to form a group. And uh, we played our first gig, I think, in 62, in uh, Samuel Jones Sports Club in Dulwich, which his dad got for us. His dad got us the gig. And it, it kind of went from there. We got five pounds for the first show, first week, because they passed the hat round, you know. And then the second time we went back, the second week or second month, we got two pounds. So it wasn't so clever, boy. <laughs> well, we weren't really going upwards then. But, you know, it was a start. Alan, yeah, you were here right from the beginning. What were you, what were you called to start with? Because you haven't been status quo for 20 years, have you? Oh, no, we've had a few names. Uh, I think the first one was the Spectres, wasn't it? Spectres. Then we changed it to, tra we changed it to Traffic Jam after that. And uh, eventually ended up with status quo. No deep meaning behind it. We just ended up with status quo. It's ironic that status quo means... Uh, in a, you know, you exist in state of, state of affairs in an awful condition, and uh, got, that's, just, that's what we've been not for. <laughs> no. I got, we've got problems here with, with Rick behind. When did you join in? You, cause you weren't there 20 years ago, were you? You sort of no, a latecomer. I joined in, as you put it, uh, 16 years ago, so I'm a new boy. I'm just getting it together now. The big hit, the big break came late 60s. Do you remember the year? 68. And the February. song was? Pictures of Mesh, you mean. Things have changed a bit since then. Uh, yeah, they have a bit. I mean, that's, that was where we were groomed then, if you like. I know it's almost an excuse, but um, when a band is struggling, as we were then, and you think success or a hit record is, is really going to change everything and make everything fabulous for you, and it takes you a little while to realise that you know, you're know you still the same. You wake up in the morning, you feel the same. Everybody treats you the same. Nothing changes, really. And then you realise you've got to mean anything 
got a lot further to go. Alan, you've really got the big one tonight, haven't you, with Prince Charles coming to your birthday party. How do you feel about it? Well, it feels great because uh, Prince Charles is um, growing up at the same time as us. He's uh, about the same age as us and uh, he's just about seen and done everything. And um, I'm told that this is the first rock concert he's ever attended. So, uh, of course, we're honoured, you know, and it's a, a crowning event, so to speak, for our 20th anniversary. One last question. How long can you carry on going for, you know? Another 20, do you reckon, Francis? Sorry, another 20? Well, honestly, yeah. not, not really, but I don't know. It's never been done before. No one's really... Yeah. Uh, years ago, no one thought that uh, rock and roll or bands could be at the age of, say, 30s and still playing, and still physically playing, you know. So it's possible. We could get to 40 years. I mean, 40 years of age. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best for tonight. Looking forward to it? Of course you are. Of yeah, course you are. Yeah. And back to your sound check. What are you going to play next? Uh, Roadhouse Blues, I believe. Right, off you go. Good luck. Mind your ears. No, don't mess about it. No, Rick, Rick, Rick. <laughs> 